Hey families, happy Sunday. I decided to do a little how-to video on how we as a family interact with the Cornerstone family devotionals. I know a lot of families obviously are staying at home on Sunday. They're watching main service, but you're kind of wondering how to incorporate the children's ministry videos that we're producing every single week. So I thought I'd show you how my family does it. We have breakfast, we treat it like we're gonna go to church, and then we sit down in the living room. I have boys on this side, say hi boys. Brett already has the Bible, getting ready to look up our scripture. And then I have the girls on this side. Hi, girls. I just wanted to show you what Bible we use. Um, Kids Devotional Bible. It's the NIRV version of it, and it is awesome. Uh, it does. So we're going to read out of Philippians four um, today, verses four through nine. But look at how it, it goes ahead and already gives you scripture devotionals that you can kind of talk to your kids about. So if you don't really know how to make that connection or to draw that out in a way that a child can respond to, um, this is a, a really great resource and I really recommend it. So every Sunday premieres a full length, um, almost like a, a total service for them. And so I load that up onto the TV and then we watch it together. Daddy, Daddy! Daddy, Daddy! Today we're going to talk about the topic of giving God praise and glory. And now something completely different. So something that's really important to note that I think parents need to hear is that if your kids are up and walking around or playing, like look at this, Liam is now on that spinny stool and Vienna is now playing next to her body. Um, that's totally normal and that's okay because if they get up and move, it's not a bad thing. They don't need to be sitting all in the line and, and watching the content. They can move around because that helps with their attention, especially if you have like a two-year-old and Liam's about to be six. Um, don't, don't worry about that. I am going to lead into reading a scripture and then talking about it, doing a devotional, and then ending with prayer. Don't worry about that. Just tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and minds. How can we be thankful even through the hard times? Liam? Huh? How do we be thankful? Uh, being thankful we are being thankful for um, mommies and daddies and um, um, cousins and friends. Why, why can we be thankful, Brad? We can be thankful because we know that God keeps His promises and He is Almighty. And we can trust Him, right? Yep. Can you be thankful, little girl? So after we have our Bible discussion, and we had a really great one today, we got to ask all questions, and sometimes the questions, you know, go off, and they started asking about Noah and um, the ark and where we all came from. So let the conversation just happen naturally. It's okay if it doesn't go completely to what you just watched on the video. But the way we ended is we, we ended in prayer every single time. So we're gonna wrap up with some prayer. Lord Jesus, we come before you. We are so thankful. We can be thankful because you never break your promises, because we can trust you. And because even though we may not understand what is happening every day, you already knew what was going to happen, and you've taken care of all of us. So Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you that this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, and that's how we do Sunday church in our house. Hey, it's okay if your living room looks trashed. As long as you're praising the Lord with your babies and you're having good conversations, that's what matters. So make sure to keep track with all of the Cornerstone Kids content. It's awesome. And I'm telling you, it'll be great, great family discussions. See y'all later.